Welcome to our channel. Beginning in 2003, Anne Lay Apostle received many messages from Jesus, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, Blessed Virgin Mary and many saints. These messages have been tabulated in a 10-volume set, simply called, The Volumes. I encourage anybody watching to read them on the direction for our Times website as a PDF or purchase the booklets. Here is an excerpt from Volume 1. Here is Jesus on Thursday, June 27, 2003. Paul of Tarsus suffered for me. He, being a chief persecutor, lost his vision in one instant. In another instant, I returned it to him. You must not worry about your health. I can bestow good health upon you if I wish you to have it. There are times when it is more important for the coming of my kingdom that you suffer. When the Spirit rested upon Paul, he was willing to suffer for me and to do anything necessary to convert souls. You must work for this same feeling. My little chosen souls of this day have a hard time with both suffering and patience. Remember, my time is perfect. If we were to change over and do things according to your desires, it would not be my plan but yours. Remember how your life felt without me, little soul, and renew your pledge to serve me, not yourself. My time is perfect. All will occur as it should, but I need souls to convert and be faithful now. The graces available to you are unlimited but that is because of the times. And the times demand full conversion and obedience. When I tell you to trust me, I need you to at least try. We will help you along with trust as it is difficult when it is not a habit. But you must try, all day today, my little frightened child, you must tell me you trust me. And by the end of this day, I will place trust within you. Now, here is Blessed Mother on Friday, June 27, 2003. We are making great strides with your souls, little ones. Even the smallest effort on your part is being rewarded greatly. It is important that you let go of many worldly concerns now and concern yourself with following God's will in your life. There will always be something to distract you from prayer. To follow those distractions away from prayer is like leaving the path. If you know your destination, truly, children, you must stay on the road that leads you there. The road may seem rocky and difficult at first but that is no reason to change your destination. It is the road you must travel to come to me my little ones. I am here, do not be afraid. I will lead you to Jesus and you will be happy and filled with gratitude for the way Jesus is calling you. Your difficulties will seem as nothing to you then. Persevere with trust. It will come to you. Again, I tell you that you must practice. Do not expect great holiness without effort but your smallest efforts are being rewarded now. Look at the many, Many souls who are following the world's ways and will be lost if God's chosen children do not respond. Let your hearts melt at the thought of this, my little ones, and help your mother to bring them all back safely to Jesus. It is this that we work for and this that we desire. Be at peace because your mother loves you and will always protect you. End of messages. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos like this.